Hey everybody, how's it going? Corey here from Theme Co with a header trick for you all to try in your next build. So one of the more understated features of the bars, I think, is this initial position control. When used, it really allows you to unlock some really interesting layout potential. And especially when you pair it with stuff like the sticky bar setup, there's just some really cool functionality we can pair with that as well and give our headers a little bit of life and make them a little different, a little more unique. So let's just dive in and kind of see what it's all about. Now, when using relative positioning, like it is by default, when you add new bars to your header, they will behave a lot like the sections in the content builder do. They will simply stack one on top of the other and work their way down the page. However, when we switch over to absolute positioning, we are quite literally using CSS absolute positioning. So what that will do is it takes the bar out of the document flow, which makes it kind of float, for lack of a better term, where it is. So when I switch this over to absolute, what you're gonna see is this hero bar here is going to appear to jump up. And that's because this bar is no longer going to be able to physically push it down. So let's check this and we see the hero bar jump up. So you might say, okay, that's interesting, but what would I do with that? Well, I think it's really cool for situations like this. We've got this big hero section, really cool image, lots of texture. And when I turn this on, you'll see that this margin top and sides, these two controls appear down here in the dimensions grouping. If I change these to say 30 pixels a piece, we've basically bumped our bar away from the edge of the browser and we can see the content from our hero section extending below that bar. So it's giving us a way to kind of layer things in a unique way and just make it have a little bit more depth. And I think it's a really cool look. Now, the one problem with this is that since we've bumped this away and since this is absolutely positioned and out of the flow of the document, our content has slowly worked its way up and now it's kind of interfering with the bar. So we want to reclaim the spacing that we had uh, before so that we're not having that issue anymore. If you watch my other hero header video where I talked about full height headers and sticky bars, things like that, you'll know that we can use the calc statement to subtract not only the height of this bar, but also the margin we used to push this away. So I already know that my bar here is 80 pixels, and then I set the margin here to 30 pixels. So I've got 110 pixels that I need to add to my already uh, six rims that I'm using on this container. So I'm going to write calc, six rims plus 110 pixels. And now you can see that we've got equal spacing back here as we have right here. So already I think this is a really cool header and we could leave it just like this and I think that's great. However, there's one final little thing you can do to just really put it over the top and that is to jump back over to our main bar and if you want this, you can turn the sticky positioning on. Now, simply turning this on, you'll notice as we scroll, it will catch at the top of the screen like it normally does with a standard sticky setup. And that's pretty cool. However, one really cool feature of the options setup here is we can turn this keep margin control on. So what that will do is you'll notice as I scroll, the bar is staying, it's keeping that offset that we added to the bar earlier. So we can see all that texture moving behind the bar as we go down the page. And then as we hit different sections, we'll see all that. It's just a, a little bit of a design nuance that adds a bit of interest to your site.